G'day, I'm David Abrahams and welcome to Central Coast Newspapers Weekly News, 5 at 5, May 13, 2022. A week out from the federal election, things are heating up on the Central Coast. Pre-polling opened up on Monday morning at seven Central Coast locations and the AEC are reporting strong turnouts. And on Wednesday, the Prime Minister played a quick visit to the Central Coast with promises in hand for roads and youth support services. While Labor's Innovation Shadow Minister Ed Husick arrived on Tuesday to pledge support for a long-planned food manufacturing hub at Lisserow behind Sarah Lee. The seat of Robertson, held by Lucy Wicks MP, uh, is crystallising as the battleground royale for the major parties. CCN decided to interview the incumbent to give her a chance to defend her record over the last nine years. But we are determined to be able to uh, deliver bespoke solutions that deliver the right outcomes for the people here on the Central Coast without shying away from any of the problems or challenges that we may face in order to deliver a stronger future for people here on the Central Coast. We spoke with um, Gordon uh, Reid, Labor's candidate, as well about his party plans. The people of Robertson can rely on the fact that a Labor government will lower electricity prices through the installation of a community battery and rewiring the nation and support small business and secure jobs. And Dobell in the North, held by Labor's Emma McBride, is noticeably less intense. We too interviewed sitting MP Emma McBride. Well, we need to see people working um, in, in care. We need to see them properly paid for what they do. We know at the moment some aged care workers are earning $22, $23 an hour. And when I've met with them and heard from them, they're stacking several jobs on top of one another mm. in order to be able to put a roof over their head. And we know that many nurses and midwives are only working you know, many fewer hours than they could. So by properly paying workers in care, we will, see, we will see an increase in the hours worked. And we have a standing invite for the Liberal candidate, Michael Feenley. Long play interviews are available on our website or, or YouTube and our socials for you to listen and read at your own pace. Council is pushing ahead with its plans to rezone part of Gosford CBD in preparation for selling some of the buildings and land for the previously announced TAFE precinct. The land at 75 Man Street, originally acquired in 2019, acquired in 2019 was meant for the Gosford Cultural Precinct um, with the Performing Arts Centre and the Library. Council now has a memorandum of understanding in place with the State Government about the development of the site into the new TAFE campus. This year's Australian Fashion Week, sponsored by Afterpay, had more than a touch of Central Coast flavour, with at least two Central Coast women leading the way. This year's show used the Carriage Works at Everly as its HQ, with burgeoning collections that spread across the city. And judging by the interest in this year's shows, the sector's brimming with renewed energy and fresh ideas for a post-COVID world. International fashion designer Weave Dabernak of Avoca uh, has worked at the heart of the industry, hit hard over the years by the pandemic, crippling supply chains and limiting events and employee shortages. But her Buy Weave collections uh, had heads turning in two separate events in the CBD during the week. More of that later. And Tape New South Wales Design School head uh, had their graduates and innovation show. Um, head of school, Laura Washington of McMaster's Beach, watched her graduates reveal their creations at the Carriage Works Parade. Washington spoke to CCN about her desire to bring high-level courses to the new Gosford TAFE campus. Look, I think it went really well. I, I spoke to some of the press backstage and uh, was received really well. I, I think, you know, th just, to, just to give a bit of a framework to, to what was shown today, these graduates have uh, been on pause for 14 weeks during COVID of 2021. Being a creative course and doing a final graduate collection, you know, you could not do an online delivery of this kind of work. Um, and so they only got notification of doing Fashion Week seven weeks ago. So to pull the collection together in the way they deal with the, the craftsmanship and the, the expertise, in which they did it was, was really quite phenomenal and, and we've been getting some great feedback about it. And a new book is being launched on Saturday at the Entrance Gallery. Artists of the Central Coast, in their own words, was written by Glenn Hamilton. An exhibition and works will be featured at the gallery for a period after Saturday. And in sport, a great 2-0 win for the Central Coast Mariners at Central Coast Stadium against arch-rivals the Newcastle Jets on Saturday. 
That win has secured their Mariners a fifth spot at the ladder at the end of the regular season. Two goals by Cummings and Nicololo kept the, rec the decent crowd of 11,000 um, on their feet and in very good humour. The Mariners now are off to Adelaide to play Adelaide United in elimination semi-final this weekend. Adelaide has a strong record at home, but the Mariners say, we won't back down. And don't forget, the Central Coast Air Show is on again this weekend, with both on Saturday and Sunday, at the airport at Warnervale. Those magnificent men and women in their flying machines will be wooing crowds in the skies above. And the weather's looking good, a little grey, but the Bureau predicts lots of sunny spots in between. Now, all of these stories and many, many more written by our local journalists can be found on our news website, coastcommunitynews.com.au, without a paywall, and in this week's print editions of Coast Community News and the Coast Community Chronicle. And remember to subscribe to our popular email newsletter at our website and check our socials on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram for updates throughout the week. Now we wrap off the week with footage from the Byweave Collection, evening show at Hicks and Gin's Distillery in the Rocks in Sydney. Have a fashionable and fun weekend.